And hello everyone, Owen Azure is here, and we are taking on Dine and Roguelikes our final look at Serum 3. Many of y'all said, hey, you've already played two episodes, and you said you were going to move on to something else. That's because I didn't think I was actually going to go and beat the final boss, but I managed to do that. Uh, the way I did it is, let me go ahead and hit continue game here. I leveled up a lot, but then I also started really paying attention to my magic. Um, and then I got lucky. One of my perks here is Wild Magic, which gives all my creatures three random spell gems at the beginning of combat that belong to their class. These spells cost zero mana. And if you get lucky on some of those, you can really do a lot of damage to those bosses. So with that out of the way... Let's go down here and look at some of the end game stuff. So right away when you get to the end game, you will come across nemesis creatures, which are more powerful versions of normal creatures. We'll go to our realm here in a moment. And they drop extra loot and all have affixes to their names or to their group. And each one does something different. It presents different challenges. I have a pretty powerful party, but I did run into one yesterday when I was playing that actually managed to wipe out my group. So kudos to them. Then you have the Aetherian Realms. Uh, you can use a sigil at the Teleportation Shrine that'll take you to a realms. They have different properties, so you have to find in other realms, just regular realms, these sigils that you can go and... There's some, some creatures can only be found in these realms. You can also get rare artifacts, give you exclusive traits. And after you complete a realm, you will get to the boss of the realm, which is a very, 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 very difficult character. Then the Nether Crucible. I have not encountered this yet, but basically lets you summon more powerful versions of a boss that you fought earlier in the game. Then Arena and Tra Tavern, Bra Tavern Brawls we've looked at earlier. Gate of the Gods. After you get deified favor of all 15 gods, you can challenge them to a battle. Haven't done that yet. I'll probably do another video when I actually unlock that, but that is going to take a little bit of grinding. And then prophecies tie the other in-game system together. LZ, the fortune teller, give you a list of five prophecies. So I have to attain sufficient favor of the goddess of light and the goddess of punishment, or god of punishment. And right now, character. Yeah, everyone honors me at least, revered. So let us go and start looking. So I have changed my party up a little. I now have this guy in here that makes... You can tell I started him from level 1. But he makes all my characters start the battle poison, but they get healed by poison instead of taking damage from it. Which is pretty nice. So first thing let's do... I can also cast an alteration spell if I'm trying to go and... kind of build up favor of one god. I can change the area to make sure it matches their thing. So let's go to the God of Light. 1,000 power. And teleport to Realm. So remember, last time I was up to 48. But now I can go up to 55. Each time you beat a Realm, you can go up higher. And each time you go up higher, the level increases. Let's go 53. Still get random quest. Find rare maps. Okay. Let's see. I go ahead and extract from him. So I still like my primary party. I might get rid of this cancerous smog of another character when I find a character that suitably kind of fits the party. All my other characters I'm pretty happy with. It'll take a lot to get me to change them. So these mirror balls allow me to fight my... basically my own party, but... Emblem, okay. So I'm trying to basically curry favor of her. Fight a boss here. going. I should be able to... F uh, he resurrected him. But not for long. 
And that's going to give me a lot of treasure. Heavy shield. Hmm. Actually, not that bad. I'm trying to get more scraps of fabric so I can... Oh, so there's one of the monsters to the right that has one of those affixes. It is a champion. And it'll tell us in the beginning what it does. So the leader, which is in the middle bottom, he's immune to damage, debuffs, and stat reduction while the allies are alive. So basically I have to kill off his allies before we can take him out, and I just did that. Extract from him. And there he goes. And I will get extra loot for that. Okay, I didn't really get that much. I want glory. It's going to bring me to a battle. As I said in previous videos, each realm really has its own kind of different random events. I guess they aren't really random, but different events you can trigger. Here, if you find stars, you can wish upon the star. If you do glory, ooh, knowledge is increased, then you are going to get a battle. And also, after beating the game, even after beating the game and playing around a little, I've still only got 300 achievements, which is a lot, but there's over 1,100 achievements in the game, so I'm only I'm less than 30% as far as the achievements. And if you're an achievement hunter, it's a big deal. I don't really care too much about achievements in most games, but in this game, yeah, I'm going to try to get a lot of the achievements. Stale candy slaughter knife. I've yet to find an altar of blood. But when I do, we got lots of knives to slaughter with. It might be in like the God of Punishment or God of Tortures realm. Okay. Completed my realm quest. made a little noise. I've turned down the volume. Learn from my mistakes is always my slogan. Ooh, a themed party. Let's see. I already have a lot of these characters. So we should beat this realm pretty quick and then we will go and kind of go to one of those Ethereum realms see what's happening there, but I'll probably get destroyed by the boss. Oh, I hate it when these... Okay. Sleep. Hey, he transformed himself. That's cool. Let's see. What do I want to... Okay, I took down his defense. Needed my skeleton to attack because he can destroy their defense thanks to the artifact he has. Oh, let me talk to her. Aeon Ruin. Ooh... Creatures have plus 10% maximum health. My current runes. Let's look. Manage runes. Oh, I already have that rune. Never mind. So we'll go back to next. Another thing is there's a lot of stuff to manage in this game. You got five, six monsters in your party. They each can have spells, artifacts. Basically, every time I come back from a quest, I try to go and manage one monster or maybe summon some monsters and do some breeding. I try to just do one thing, and that kind of keeps me from getting overwhelmed. So like here, I'd say, hey, you know what? I just put this guy in my party. Let's manage your spell gems. Let's see what's happening here. And I have the ability to equip any spell gem on any monster, which is pretty cool. Or certain, I'm sorry, character perks. I can equip chaos gems and sorcery, regardless of monster's alignment. 
I knew that didn't sound right. Okay, so let us go to manage spell gems. Enemies are affected with three random debuffs, or with a random debuff for three turns. Okay, target creature is killed. That's pretty cool. So first off, he only has 32 mana. What do I want to give him here? Let me just take a large amount of damage. Yeah, let's give him that. No, let's not give him that. Let's find something that works off attack power. Oh, I like that. 50% is based on attack rather than my intelligence. So, let's use a sigil. So, enemies here are immune to sorcery. I can't resurrect. Enemies have 80% more health. That's a lot. Okay, R. So, E, I think, means the enemies. Realm contains extra nemesis creatures. No avatar creatures allowed. Okay. Enemies reflect 50% damage. So you can tell these some of these realms are pretty hard. Whoops. So, player weak, no health regen. After battle, inhabited by troll race. Enemies immune to spells, can't dodge or crit. Enemies have infinite mana. Enemies copy your spell, gem. That really is not that big a deal. So we're going to go here. Let's see what happens. If I have to find a treasure. I should have une... Well, I'm not going to unequip all my spell gems just for this. Because right now I can take out these enemies pretty easily. Okay. Nature shield. Changes class to nature, it gains invisible, and gains a moderate amount of defense. Okay. Some brimstone. As far as the last boss, I will still say the boss is pretty cheap, and it's a pretty... big experience check, but at the same time, if you get real lucky on your spells, or if you manage your party a little better probably than I did, it probably wouldn't be as hard, but it's still a hard boss. I've seen a lot of people, I don't know if they're complaining about it, but saying that it's definitely a big wake-up call when you go from fighting enemies like this, and I'm just plowing through, to trying to take on that last boss. Creatures take less damage, so he's blessed. And we start with five buffs. That is... That's had the potential to be really bad. Map of Farsight. Okay. Will be used next time. Yeah, it is definitely a big jump when you're facing that last boss. But, like I say, if you keep trying, you will persevere. Okay, let us... And then you'll have an overpowered party like this. Wow. I didn't even get a chance to hit the buttons. Yeah, because mainly what's doing it is my Thrasher Fiend here who, after his creature attacks, deals 80% of damage dealt to other random creatures. And then, if you look at his artifact, he charges, so that means he starts battle by attacking. Oh, no, no, no. Where's his artifact? 
Uh, I can't believe I accidentally unequipped his artifact. Multi-tool axe. Yeah. And then he has charge. So at the start of battle, this creature attacks random enemies three times. And then he also gets an extra two hits after he randomly attacks an enemy. So he usually just decimates the enemies. And then my this guy also put charge on. So if you can get artifacts and put charge on them, that really makes your game a lot easier. You can see my Thrasher Fiend just completely annihilates these. Now, you will run into an issue because my party is heavily attack-based. Even though I do have some good magicians like my starting little cube guy there. So if I encounter enemies with a lot of defense, that sometimes can create a problem. Luckily, I kind of counteract that by my skeleton here who has a trait wallop which on his or his trait he does more damage for every one percent health a target's missing but his artifact has wallop which reduces if he hits it reduces the well actually oh why do i keep doing that i think i called it wallop after his creature attacks it decreases the defense of the target enemies adjacent to a target by 40 percent so that Kind of how I get around the defense issue. Alright, so I need to discover this treasure. And then we can go fight the boss. And here comes... Wow, there are a lot of characters coming up here. Go and extract from him. Good. And we're going to go and fight some more characters. So, yeah, if I inspect this red storm, you see while this creature is above 90% health, it has 50% more of all those stats. I need to take its health down. And it's also very good at dodging. But so much for that. Sometimes those can be a big hassle if I'm not able to hit them or if when I, every time I hit them, I'm not doing enough damage to actually do more than zero damage. So now all my creatures are going to attack immediately, which pretty much wiped out that party. Okay, I still need to find this treasure. Okay, there's the treasure map. Now to find the treasure, as they just said. And in this game, I don't know if I recorded a treasure, but literally X marks the spot. You will see a big X on the map. Can't miss it. Gem of Black Ice. Should be good for now. Oops, I want that treasure chest. Pandemonium token. I haven't used one of these in a while. Does random things. You also can't use it right next to a shrine. Of... Oh, I can't use it in Ethereum Realm either. Because sometimes it'll summon monsters or do crazy things, and the game's like, hey, we don't want you to be able to be right here and just press A and be able to leave the area. You have to do it a little ways away. Let's go and get this treasure. Okay. Now my only question is, okay, so if I die to this boss, I'm gonna lose all this stuff. Which but I think I have to fight the boss. Unless there is a way out. Yeah. I mean, let me explore a little more and see if I can find one of those nice things that when you speak to them, they will let you save all your items that you found. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say those don't exist in this world. Just a sneaking suspicion I have. I'm going to get all these resources I'm finding. That's cool. Oh, I didn't, why didn't I even bother talking to this? Yeah, this isn't looking good. Because last time I fought one of these bosses, I got destroyed. 
Now maybe this is a less powerful realm, so maybe I'll do better. Can I exit now? No turning back now, okay. Minotaur Lancer. Horde, after enemies die, new enemies come to replace them. That's just great. And these guys are not going down first turn, like... All right, took him out. Sphinx, just a car. I can't extract. Wish I could, because I could actually use some of these. All right, who is weak against him? Okay. So far, so decent. Yeah, let's go ahead and give my guy a spell ward. Ooh, target attacks one of its allies. Ooh, cursed everybody. Nice. Cancerous smog. Target attacks a random enemy for 100% extra damage. Nice. Okay, this is a good boss. Okay, these guys just keep coming and coming. All right, he's powering himself up there. So what is his... All right. So he's provoking right now. Let's go ahead and mass to spell. Okay. Nah. Uh, cast. Each enemy has a 50% chance of being confused. Good. I like it. Okay, we can take this guy out, though. Do they run out of characters? I'm not 100% on that. And now they're starting to kill some of my guys. Thrasher Fiend. Okay. This is not going that well. Actually, it's going better than I thought. Remove those extra traits. Drain life. So I think I need to start taking more than one out at once. That's going to be hard with this particular party. So we all change to chaos. Interesting. Oh great, I have scorn now. Okay, target transforms into a random Yeah. Jeez, it's going to keep summoning. Okay, my Brim Smith. Okay, give him multi strike. Uh, 
Please take a large... Okay. That sounds nice. Skeleton Trigger Man. Okay, I'm going to keep boosting this guy. So he's at max all this stuff now. That's pretty cool. It's also at max intelligence. Uh, I don't have enough to cast that. So I'm trying to take as many of these guys out at once as I can. He's confused. Okay, let's change him into something else. He's transformed. Thrasher Fiend, he has... Okay, this battle's going to take a little while. But we got a little while. I wish I had some really powerful spell. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Alright, you can poison me. Oh my god, it... Okay, so I need to... I just need to outlast all these monsters. I thought maybe they would only summon one at a time. But I was wrong on that. Let's keep casting Dark Transformation. Or maybe I do have to take them all out at once. Alright. Defend. Is he sleeping? <sighs> Cast. Holy Nova. Jeez, these are a lot of monsters. I was doing so good. Cast. Uh, it just summons more. Okay, I need... And it cost 82% based on attack. That's that. Well, we started off good. It's set that stupid horde. And if I look... Oh, I lost my seagull. That's just great. Oh, well. Better luck next time. I'll just have to improve my party more. Yeah, but that dark transformation spell that I was casting, it changes your creatures to a random creature, but it doubles all their stats. And that's one of the ways I think I beat the last boss. I cursed them a lot, and then I also was just sitting there doubling some of my creature stats and putting barriers on them. But that is not what happened that time. Anyways, that is a look at some of the in-game contents for Serial M3. Next week, we'll probably be looking at a different 
altogether roguelike. If you have any suggestions, make sure you do recommend them, because I actually haven't recorded the next episode yet. And if you liked this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember, subscribe to the channel to be informed whenever I update said channel. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.